Okay, in this video I know I said we were going to create a massive website, but then it occurred to me, while I'm here, now that I got you this far, let me show you something else to do. Uh, after all, we did buy a second domain name when we got that hosting account, do you remember? And so, why don't I go ahead and assign that to my same server? You might be wondering how it fits in, so let's just do this. I got RoboForm, which you can get from the Moji Crew resources page. Watch this host monster, and that's the site I just did. And so it's logging me in right now. And I can close the other tabs. Don't need them. And it's got something for me to do. I don't need to do it. So let me just go up here to my domain manager. Now, in my domain manager, there's my primary domain. Buildingwebsitestoday.com is my primary. But what about this one? Uh, this is not assigned yet. It says unassigned. Well, if I want to make this thing live because right now it's not if I go here I'll get one of those default hey there's nothing here yet pages <laughs> right and so if I go <clears throat> just to show you there's nothing there but if I go to my main website now there is something there okay it's whatever we put there which is our default index page for the moment until we replace it all right so let me take this thing that's unassigned and make it assigned so I'm gonna click this blue assign link don't click this one that starts a new hosting account altogether with this domain. You'll be paying another 83 bucks or something like that or 80. But what I want to do in this case is intentionally show you how to create a new domain on the same server and assign it a folder of its own so it has its own home. So you'll see how that works. Let's hit that blue assign link. Now that I check marked the site I wanted, okay? And so which one do I want to deal with? That one, yes, that's what it's thinking I want. So that's perfect. Now, when I go down here, do I want it to be an add-on or a park domain? I want it to be an add-on because I want it to have its own uh, directory. And there it is. There's going to be the directory. Inside the public underscore HTML folder, it's going to create whatever I say. And I may as well leave it this way, building websites now. Why would I leave it that way? Just for ease of remembering it. It's building websites now, building-websites-now.com. So I just know I want that particular folder to be called building websites now. Okay. Now, because it's a subdomain as well, you could go directly to uh, building-websites-now.com. That's okay. But you could also reach it this other way. Instead of typing in www. you can type in something else. And you can even change this if you want. Do you really want to do all that? No, you're n probably never going to do it this way. Uh, not in this case. This is a whole new website that you're trying to create. So forget about it. Just leave it there. Know that you can reach it that way, but you don't need to. Okay, here's our new directory. That's the exact link. Let's go ahead and hit add domain. And it's going to go through and it's going to set up all that connectivity, everything it has to do. And then it's going to let me know it's good there we go and so there it is it's an add-on domain now okay and I don't want to unassign I want to leave it alone there's the primary it's still the primary but the other one works now and now that it's assigned I need to put some kind of a page up there in order to see it on FTP I could visit it that new link but it shows nothing I need to put something up there because this is not a main domain anymore it's a subdomain it's really just a shortcut to a folder on the main domain and ultimately it has nothing in it yet so let's go back into FTP and there's a perfect chance to see the uh, refresh too let me see building websites today let's go into public underscore HTML and we're supposed to see a folder here for the new website remember should be saying that let's see if we refresh if we see it there now we see it that's what I meant by hitting the refresh sometimes to see changes in here and if I go in there Okay, it does have some default stuff, and so I'm just waiting for the page to propagate across the internet and actually show me something there. And if I want, I can go ahead and jump the gun. Let me minimize. Let me take, same thing again, let me get back down to my, whoops, Moji Demo V2, uh, open a readme, and I can just do this again because I need to it's a new website so I need to put those up there I don't really need to put the example page up there I'm just putting it up to make sure I can see it and make sure I'm doing this right okay but it is a new website 
So we do need to put this inside that new website because that's going to be the root and all the way that it's connected on the page, everything that we're going to do is going to go looking right for the shortcut and it thinks this stuff is there. So we need to make sure to just upload these uh, every time we create a new domain. Okay, you only have to do it once per domain. Not really a big deal. So now let me come back and just see what happens when I refresh. Okay, I'm still waiting for it to propagate. It can take a few more minutes. That's perfectly fine. I can even do my work while I wait. It doesn't matter. It will finally come up. So now I have created a add-on domain. You know, so anytime you get a domain, you can do that. Now for those of you who have a domain on something else like GoDaddy, all right, so if I went to GoDaddy, It's very similar, except your domain's way over here, right? So you have to set the name servers to point out ns1.hostmonster.com and ns2.hostmonster.com, and then go into HostMonster and pull it in from there. All right, anybody have any questions with that? Just ask support. I mean, it's really easy stuff. A lot of you already know. And so I'm just going to let that go because I haven't set anything up in there. And you guys probably know what you're doing. Other than that, just when you create new domains, Create them with your host monster account. You know, that's an easy way to go. Name servers. That's the information you need for transferring it over. NS1.hostmonster.com, NS2.hostmonster.com. And anyone either at hostmonster or at godaddy.com can easily tell you over the phone exactly how to do it if you've never done it before. It's pretty simple stuff. Okay, the final thing with this is don't forget that sometimes you need to clear your cache to see things right, but I don't want to clear it yet just because I'm logged in. And let me show you this. Uh, if you are transferring from GoDaddy, let me show you how that works. So if I were to log into GoDaddy, because I do have domains that are there, Okay, I've got one that's expiring I had to get to, but take a look at this. Way over here, don't click on domains. This is if you want to do new ones. You know, click over here on my account. Quickest way to get to your own stuff here. And let's say I wanted to take a website and assign it to uh, hostmonster.com because I bought hostmonster way over there and then one day I came here and bought myself a new domain. So I look up under my account, I can see my domains, right? And obviously, I need to get this one renewed shortly. I will soon. But how do you assign a new domain? Let's say I went into this thing right here. Okay. Just click on it. <clears throat> and then what you see is a button for name servers. That's the biggest thing right there. If we hit set name servers, then we can say I have specific name servers for my domains ns1.hostmonster.com and ns2.hostmonster.com. That's because I hand type these in there. You can type them in uppercase, lowercase. It'll just correct to this anyway or resolve to that anyway. Then hit OK. In my case, I'll hit cancel because it's already that way. And that way, now on your HostMonster account, when you go to Domain Manager, you can actually say I, or assign a domain to your cPanel account. There it is. Assign a domain to your cPanel account, and it'll say, you know, a domain that is not already associated with your account, because all mine that I have now are associated. So I could type it in, moji-crew.com, like that, and it'll verify it. But it'll say, hey, it already belongs to another account, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's currently the primary domain on that account, a different one. I cannot assign it to this account at this time, but you could with your domain. That's the point. So you can buy domains at GoDaddy if you want. And then down below, again, it's an add-on domain. And again, you're going to either use an existing directory, which you can choose from, or you can create a new directory and give it a name you'll recognize. Like that. And then, of course, the subdomain would be Moji Crew dot, it's something like that, or Moji Dash Crew, probably, because that's what I had in my domain name up here. And so it would become part of this website in this way. Instead of www dot, you could type this to reach the same place that you reach when you go into the folder this way or just go straight to the domain itself. All three ways can make the page appear. Okay, not stuff you really need to know, just kind of interesting to know. Okay, and so that's how you bring a domain in from somewhere else. 
you just set the name servers on GoDaddy or wherever it is and then on the website here you simply do that bit that we just did domain manager and we said add a domain or assign a domain to your cPanel account and we just brought it in with domain and then gave it a folder name down here and said okay that's really it and then there it is attached to your server how many domains can you attach to one server as many as you want 20 40 50 whatever as many domains as you want now some guys say is that all that valuable though and the answer is no not really we usually say three to five domains per server is about max and then you want to finally turn around and get a new hosting account anyway another one of these whole hosting accounts here okay that you can keep assigning new servers to that's what we needed all right I'm gonna go ahead and close out of here and I'm going to go ahead and renew this and then we'll continue now that we have two websites set up with building some really big websites. All right.